Now many people know Future to be the king of toxicity, but not a lot of people know exactly how he got there. Now, there's a specific timeline to where Future completely flipped and changed as a person and became the Future we know him as today. It's an evil world we live in. I mean, Future has always been Future, but the toxic Future we know now, he's just come about within a certain timeline. A timeline that I'm about to bring to you today. But as with most toxic guys, there's a woman behind their toxicity. There's always a woman who led them down that path of being toxic. Now I'm not saying the woman is necessarily to blame, but I'm just saying after Future was done with this woman, he wasn't the same. Here's how Future ex-wife turned him toxic. Now Future and Sierra initially met at a Beverly Hills restaurant. And when the two met at a Beverly Hills restaurant, they hit it off. The chemistry was there, they were vibing, they were feeling each other. Now, the media would start to pick up these two being out in public, and there was also rumors already, but when people started speculating that she was the one in Future's music videos, because people were also speculating that also, they were kind of happy to find out that she was the one in Future's music videos, and the two were seeing each other. I mean, guys, stuff was going good. They were making TV show appearances, well, Sierra Moore, specifically with my love so yeah I, I feel like you have to have a king in your queendom and you know that's exactly what he is it's so weird when I talk about this I feel like I'm saying so much but um, that's what it's about for me you know the person that the guy that's at your house or that's a part of your home and your strength in a sense should be that that's what I feel like they should be the high in the highest place in your mind so they were making TV appearances it was like a beautiful black couple you know black love they're both of the same complexion they both were were just a good relationship right you see a lot of toxic stuff going on out there a lot of relationships that people may not necessarily agree with in terms of is it good for the youth to look up to in terms of black love and all that type of stuff so it was kind of good in terms of black love you know seeing a black couple together it was just a great thing now guys it was going so well to the point where sierra she went to a birthday bash and upon her coming back in New York, future, the same future we know today, he was there ready to propose to her. And he did propose to her. And guess what she said? She said yes. And she accepted. And they were set to get married. Now, upon them being set to get married, what also happened? What usually happens in these situations? Sierra got pregnant. Now, but everybody's saying to me, you gotta ask, you gotta ask. There are rumors about pregnancy yes do you want to confirm or of don't? course i would love to so <laughs> with sierra getting pregnant she was excited right she was making tv show appearances she was doing her thing she was excited it was looking like it was looking like a fairy tale to be honest they got married and now they get, they're, they're having a, a kid so it was looking good but guys Obviously, fairy tales don't always end with a happy ending. With all the marriage coming up and the baby coming up, which they, they eventually had, as you guys know, but with all this happening, cheat and rumors start to come about. Now, with the cheat and rumors, it's not set in stone in terms of who was guilty or not of cheating, but there were speculations and Future allegedly had sex with his wardrobe assistant yes i know like damn fair enough if you cheated with a fucking gq model this nigga cheated with his wardrobe assistant allegedly allegedly because me personally bro even if there's evidence bro if future show if future said to me he didn't cheat bro he didn't cheat bro you know i don't care about the evidence if future said he didn't cheat he didn't cheat but <laughs> jokes aside allegedly future was accused of sleeping with his wardrobe assistant so with this happening sierra obviously wasn't with it and stuff started taking a downward turn now as stuff started taking a downward turn there was someone on the arise that would take a liking to sierra now this person had said that sierra was his dream woman it would be heaven on earth if he could get sierra as his woman so who was this russell wilson so future it wasn't really good timing for him because he's just been cheating allegedly once again he's just been cheating and now there's somebody who's saying his well ex at this point 
is his dream woman. So you could see how this was just never going to end well. So Sierra started talking to Russell Wilson. They started taking a liking to one another and they eventually got together. Now, this is where stuff started taking a downward turn for future and we started seeing toxic future arise. What do I mean by this? Future started taking shots at R Russell Wilson. He wasn't messing with it. He didn't want Russell Wilson to be the father um of his child basically looking after his seed which is understandable but he didn't want well it's understandable but i don't think future really i think future was trying to play games with sierra bro i don't think you know sometimes as men you can be like i don't want another man taking care of my child but i don't think that was future's concern bro because he's got eight like seven ten children bro i don't think that was his concern i think he was playing games with sierra but nonetheless he was being toxic towards russell wilson sierra their whole relationship he was he was sending shots and all the above to the point where sierra tried to get sole custody of their child baby future now it didn't go in her favor future ended up getting split custody but with this downward turn you can see what it will do to a man in the public eye getting his his girl basically taken from him not really taken from him because future was being future toxic he kind of let her like he kind of fumbled her as well but it wasn't looking good for future in the public eye now guys this specifically is where we start to see a turn with future really with the sierra story that's really how it ends she stays with she's still with russell wilson russell wilson is in the in the in, uh, baby future's life which is good to see and they're li basically living happily ever after but what happened with future's career especially his music career people basically seeing him as he's done with he's over with he was really that guy because he was with say, sierra sierra was, was really big at the time and now sierra's bust up with an nfl player they're happy so everyone was kind of looking at future like look at him over there you know he, he nobody cares about him anymore look at russell wilson and sierra they're the new thing no one cares about future anymore because people think future has just been popping the whole time future came in the game popping obviously he was doing his thing with the mixtapes in atlanta but future hasn't always had what he has today future had a time in his career where it's like what's going on with future he he was really just pushed to the side he was excommunicated from basically the media everything they put him to the side after the sierra situation they basically looked at him like a flop but guys the way future would fucking return oh my days this is gonna go down in history the way future will return he would come back with an album named monster this is where we all heard the infamous song fuck up some commas now now when future came back he came back as a person we did not recognize he was his even his music he was with he was rapping on these hard hitting beats like it's like he had pain to fucking give to the world and he was doing so and then that would mark the rise of this infamous clip he called she belongs to the streets so guys after this would all happen future would go on to just start doing these bitches dirty i'm talking about laurie harvey all the above he would start doing them dirty and just go on a path of no return if you really look at future i people may think i'm joking when i say he's a true philosopher and he's someone who needs to really be respected in this whole space when it comes to men women dating all the type of thing relationships he's really a philosopher if you look at the way he went from being kicked to the curb while sierra and russell wilson were this star couple and how we fucking came back with a bang he started becoming red pill basically in terms of toxicity he was like fuck these hoes all women are the same that's how most red people think red pill guys think he started coming back on that type of time and his music started getting way better the way he women started liking him way more you know to, to, to fumble sierra and to have russell wilson take her I still have women come back that's gotta be studied bro and that's why i'm making this video it has to be studied what this guy did he basically got excommunicated from society he said fuck that came back with a fucking bang and he's been doing this bitches these bitches dirty ever since bro he's been doing these bitches dirty ever since now today future sierra and russell wilson they have much more of a a solid relationship they have much more of an understanding and also future has a lot more kids so guys let this be a lesson to you no matter what you go through in life no matter how many people count you out you've always got to come back with a bang especially when it comes to your career and with the woman future didn't go on a tour simping future didn't go on a tour being a lame 
he stayed true to himself and came back with a fucking bang and changed the game. So guys, if she leaves you for another guy, boy, you better turn the fuck up. That's it really, guys. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and opinions on this whole situation, and I'm out.